Hey guys and girls, it's K7 and welcome to yet another video tutorial. First, before I begin, I'd like to thank and welcome all of my new subscribers and thank you for all the support on the channel. I appreciate it, truly. Thank you. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up and run the PS2 emulator. Now, I was recently going to put this type of tutorial out showing you how to set up and update the PS2 emulator and get it running, but I went on to doing other things and I never added it to the emulators list. So today, I thought I'd add it just for you guys, just to add that to the emulators list. So the steps are pretty easy and simple to do, and the only thing you'll have to do is follow along with this tutorial. So just sit back and relax. It's coming at you. Okay, let's get started. So the only thing you'll need to do is go down to those links that I've left for you down in the description. There you'll be able to download the PCX2 emulator, PS2 emulator for PC and also the BIOS of which you'll be needing later. So make sure you download those. Once you've downloaded the PSX or PS2 emulator, you'll want to click on the PS2 EXE. Once you click on the PCX2 EXE, you'll get a window like this. You'll want to hit the next button. If you get a message that pops up asking you to overwrite, click overwrite. Once you click overwrite, you'll move on to your next window. Here you'll be able to make changes to custom settings within the PCX2 emulator. You can change these if you'd like for more optimal settings, but it's already been set for you in working condition to get you up and running for your very first time using the emulator. So if you want, you can change these settings or you could just hit next to move on and continue to the next window. Once you hit next, you'll move on to a window like this. Here, this is the place where you will have to insert your BIOS. Without your PS2 BIOS, the emulator will not work. So you'll be needing them. So make sure you download them. Just below, you'll see a little box here with a check mark that says use default settings. You'll want to uncheck this. Once you uncheck this, you then want to hit the browse button. Hit the browse button and locate your BIOS. For myself, I've located them and I've placed them onto the desktop. This is for demonstration purposes only, but it's recommended that you place them in your documents folder. Once you've located your BIOS wherever you may have placed them, select them, then hit OK. Once you select them, you will get some options that will appear in the window that was once empty. You will get Japanese, Europe, and US BIOS settings to choose from. Choose whatever corresponding region that you'd like and then hit finished. For me, I'll be using the US. Hit finish and you're all done here. Once you've hit finished, you should get two new windows like this. You'll get the PCX2 emulator window and the PCX2 information window just to the right of that. If you get these windows, these two windows both indicate that you have successfully set up the PCX2 emulator. Congratulations, but you're not done yet. You'll still need to set up some controls and also test it to make sure it works. So what we'll want to do is head on over to the PCX2 emulator window and we're going to click on the configuration settings because we're going to be setting up our controls. Click on the configuration settings, scroll down to controller and then click the plugin setting. Here you will see a new window that will appear and you'll see some tabs just above. You'll want to click on the pad one tab. Here this will take you to a window where you will be able to configure your controller settings. And yes, 
This window does look a bit intimidating, but don't worry, I'm here to help. It's pretty simple, so don't worry. The only thing you'll have to do to set this up is as you can see here on the right side of your screen, you will see some buttons. You'll have to click on each one of these buttons and set them and match them to a corresponding button on your controller. So here, I'm going to press triangle by clicking on the triangle button with my mouse. So I click this little triangle button here and then I click on that button to correspond to whatever button I'd like triangle to be on my controller. So it's pretty simple. Even if you don't have a PlayStation style controller, you can use any controller. As long as it works, you can have it and use it and match it up to whatever corresponding button that you'd like to use. So you hit the button on the right and then match the button on your controller to whatever button you'd like that to be. And don't worry, if you make any mistakes, you can scroll down here to the bottom and then hit clear all. This will clear all the buttons, but once you clear all, you'll have to start all over from scratch again. So try not to make any mistakes. But if you do, this button is here for you. Once you've finished, you want to hit apply and then OK. Now you're pretty much set. So now we'll need to test the controller and also see if the emulator is working. So what we'll need to do is select CD DVD. This selection here will allow you to select the game that you will be using to run your emulator. If you're using a physical disc, which you can use for this emulator, which is pretty awesome, you will need to select the CD DVD tab, scroll down and select the plugins option. Once you select it, go back up to CD DVD and then select plugins menu. Scroll over and select plugin settings. Once you're here, all you need to do is select the drive of which you have your PlayStation 2 physical disk within and then hit OK and then go over to system, select full boot and it should run. But if you're using an ISO like myself, then you will need to locate that ISO wherever you may have placed it. You want to go to CD DVD, scroll down, and then select Browse. Locate the ISO or game disk image for the PS2 that you'd like to use. Select it. Once you've selected it, you then want to click on the System tab. Click on Full System Boot and There you have it, your game will run and it will work and you can get back to playing all of your classic PS2 titles. Well, that's pretty much going to wrap things up for the tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, leave those comments down in the comment section below and I'll get to them when and if I can. Also, if the tutorial was helpful for you, make sure to leave a like. Also, it helps me to bring you more tutorials and videos like these. Also, I'll be bringing you guys the PCX3 emulator 2 in the future, so look out for that as well. Until next time, this has been K7. Enjoy playing all of your classic PS2 games using the PCSX2. And yes, I've been using PCX for short. PS2 emulator on PC. Take care guys, later.